What's up guys? So today we're going to be doing an air pump delete. So our updates come stock with a factory air pump, um, secondary air injection as it's otherwise known. And pretty much what that does is it pumps some air into your catalytic converter when your car starts to get it working sooner and that way it filters out all the bad air. But I don't have a catalytic converter so I don't have a need for the air pump. So today I'm going to be taking that out and all I need is this little plate right here. Okay so here's everything you're going to need. You need some picks, pliers, snips, 21 millimeter impact socket to get the wheels off, swivel head um, to reach some bolts, 12 and a 10 millimeter socket, a short extension, a medium extension, and a long extension, a ratchet, breaker bar, I have this, this is optional, but it makes life so much easier. This is an electric ratchet, some zip ties, and of course, actual plate to block off the air pump. Okay, so we're gonna start by jacking up the passenger side of the car and removing the passenger front wheel. And always remember to use a jack stand so your car doesn't fall on you. Alright, next we're going to remove this wheel, which is a 21, and I have a wheel lock for mine, so if you have one, make sure you grab yours. Okay, so the next thing to remove is the strut tower brace that goes from both struts. So, we just have two nuts here, it's 12 millimeter. So I have, you could use a ratchet, but I have my electric ratchet. And I use a small extension just because it makes it easier to get in there. Okay, now this is good to come off. Okay, so next we have to move these clamps back so we can get this hose off. So I'm just going to take a pair of pliers. Okay, and then we're going to actually pull this hose off. So make sure you grab a pick or something because it makes it a lot easier than just pulling it with your hands. Okay, that side's out. All right, and I just realized since we're removing the air pump itself, we don't actually have to take the hose off of the air pump. So you could, you could actually leave this clamp on it. I just took them both off. And next, we have to take off the connectors for the ambient air temperature sensor and the connector for the actual air pump itself. So for the ambient air temp sensor, you just push down on the end right here, and it slides right off. And then for the air pump connector, just push down on the other end right here, and that slides right out. Okay, and then you have to remove these three bolts, this one, this one, and that one, and then you could actually pull the air pump out. And now with the air pump actually removed, um, we'll, we'll be able to remove the bracket. Before we remove this bracket, let's get the um, air temperature sensor out because we need to reinstall that. So that's just a 10 millimeter. And make sure I don't drop this washer. And put this to the side. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is remove these two bolts down here, which is a 10 millimeter. So grab your long extension and we'll take those off. And then we want to move this clip right here so we could actually pull this off from the wire harness. So just grab your pliers and give it a little squeeze. And it comes off just like that. You won't actually be able to pull the bracket all the way out yet because there's still this resistor connected to it. It's just two Phillips head screws on the back. You can use a screwdriver, but I'm going to use my impact drill. Oh, lost that one. And then after those screws are out, there's another little plastic thing here. So just grab our pliers. It just comes out just like that. And now we can take the bracket out and we don't need that anymore. Now you don't actually want to remove the resistor because you need that for the car to run. So this is where... Okay, so this is the part where one of the zip ties comes in. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna this hole right here. We are gonna slide one end through. We're gonna stand the resistor up and just wrap the zip tie around it. And pull that nice and tight. And we're gonna take our snips and just snip the end off. And now we'll just plug that connector back in. And just tuck that underneath over here. Okay, now we're gonna put the ambient air temperature sensor back in. So we have this bolt right here. So we're gonna slide that over, get your little nut for it. And put that on. Okay, and then this is the connector for it. So it's held in by this zip tie clip. So easiest way to do that, undo that is just snip it. And now that's out of there. And we could run this. There's these wires right here. So I'm just gonna run that underneath. And then right over to the sensor. And then the connector for the air pump can just tuck away somewhere. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, the next thing you gotta do is we're gonna remove this bolt right here. For this for the check valve. And let's start by taking this clip off because that's connected down here to this bracket. I'm using my electric ratchet with a short extension and a 10 millimeter. Okay, so that bolts out. And then there's also this little tube right here that was just a pull off, just like that. And uh, we could wiggle this a little bit. And here we move on to the wheel well where we took the wheel off before. So I'll just take this little flap, move that out of the way. And back of there, Right there, there's two bolts, and that's what we want to take out and put that plate in over where those those bolts go. Alright, so you want to grab your super long extension ratchet. Uh, I have a swivel head on mine and a 10 millimeter. And we're going to see, these might be hard to come off, they look pretty rusty. So get that on there. Alright, so I managed to get the um, second bolt back there with the swivel socket. You can't do this without the swivel socket because you will not be able to reach it. And that is the second one that's out. So the other one was a nut and this one's a bolt. Okay, so now we're going to come back up here and we could actually pull this out now. So, just like that. And it's out. So we're still left with this loose tube, and um, we could actually plug the end of this on a little part on this valve. Okay, so down on the valve, right there, is where we could actually plug that little tube. like that. Okay, now at this point we're going to grab the actual block off plate and all the way back here there's going to be a little gasket. Right? So you want to pair the gasket against the plate and you're going to slide those on together. I had to move the camera but I was able to get that bolt started in there. It's actually a lot easier now that that pipe's out of the way. So let's slide that on. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is just zip tie this wire harness down. So I'm running it through um, the thermostat housing. Just slide that through. And cut off the excess. And then this is all the hardware that was holding in the air pump and everything. So. You don't need them, but hold on to them if you ever plan on putting the air pump back in. 
Otherwise, you could just throw them into your excess bolt drawer, like me. And now you can reinstall the strut tower breeze. And the final step is to put the wheel back on and lower the car. And now, you have all this extra room in your engine bay. So after doing this, you might have check engine light. I don't have one right now, but if you do have one, it'll probably be a P0410 code, which is for the secondary air injection. And if you do have that check engine light, don't worry about it, it's only because you took the air pump out. So just clear it and go on with your day. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just put it down below. I'll respond to it. Uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share. And um, yeah, have a good one.